Hello everybody on YouTube. This is Brandon Parker with a, another tutorial. This time this tutorial is on, on a Mac software editing program that is similar to Sony Vegas. I've been using Sony Vegas for over a year now, a little bit over a year. And uh, I got a Mac in between that time. I got it in November of last year. And uh, I had downloaded uh, at some point uh, Final Cut. I got it and uh, I hadn't really knew how to use it and I thought it was really hard to use and realized like an idiot well because I'm smart with computers so I should have known that it was really easy someone like me but there's a lot of people who didn't know don't know anything or much about Final Cut and it's kinda hard for those who are new users to a Mac computer and they want to use something to make videos with anything like fan videos or anything that you record or anything like that and you're someone like me who was used to Sony Vegas, you might be uh, wondering, well, what am I going to do? How am I going to get my videos to work now? How am I going to edit easily? How, is it going to be really hard? Well, really, the answer is no, because if you're a user of Sony Vegas, a recent user anyway, such as myself, you can get right into Final Cut really easy. Final Cut is a fun, easy, really good editing program, and uh, if and there's two versions of Final Cut, like like there's many versions of Sony Vegas. There's uh, Final Cut Express, which is the cheaper version. That one's two hundred dollars. And then there's another version of Final Cut, which is the Pro version, and that one's a thousand dollars. The reason that one is a thousand dollars is because it comes with a lot more features and stuff. Like it comes with, uh, I think, a separate like color corrector, special color corrector. It comes with Motion, Soundtrack Pro, and all that. And I really didn't need any of those, so I'm, so I decided to go with the Express version, and it was a little bit cheaper for me, and it was a, it had everything that I was looking for that I really didn't need to go and spend a thousand dollars for the uh, Pro version, because I'm not going to do either this world editing stuff, but a, a little bit better than I was doing. Like if you're doing something, like the basic one is iMovie for Mac, and the basic one for Windows is uh, Windows Movie Maker and those ones are for free and those really suck and they don't really do anything you can do a little bit better in iMovie than uh, Windows Movie Maker but iMovie just sucks really bad I don't really like uh, iMovie too well either the same as I don't like uh, Windows Movie Maker so I'm going to jump right in and show you the features of Final Cut and show you that it's really similar to Sony Vegas okay Final Cut right now is open and this is how it looks when you open up Final Cut for the first time uh, right here this is your timeline they call it a sequence like many sequences you have like different projects and stuff you can uh, do a new sequence make uh, independent like clips independent or whatever in your sequence you go to uh, you can go to to import uh, uh, clips into your uh, uh, project uh, import and you go to files okay and then you go right in, into wherever your video files are whatever you want to use I'm gonna to go to my book because that's where the clip I'm gonna use for this tutorial is because I can show you a lot of people want to do fan videos and they started like if they had Sony Vegas and I'll show you how to do this because once you know how to do the fan video stuff and I'm gonna show you how, how come I can get uh, AVI files to work in here there's a reason why I can get AVI files to work in here. You have to uh, go to this, uh, go on Google, search for something that uh, says uh, you type in whatever in Google, saying that uh, AVI codec for Mac, and uh, there's a div codec. You're gonna have to have that codec in order to use uh, AVI files into uh, Final Cut. And, but there's going to be a problem if you're doing uh, anything with AVI files in Final Cut you're going to have some issues with Final Cut uh, uh, a little bit with the uh, div because it's going to have uh, this uh, watermark at the bottom right I'm going to show you uh, uh, that watermark okay see watch I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on play right here anything okay say you want to work with your file first what you do is you double click on this or drag it right into here and this is where you do your uh, like adding filters instead of uh, like Sony Vegas it, it has effects well instead of effects in Final Cut they're called 
filters, but they still call them effects right in here, but they're like effects and filters. So just remember that when you're using Final Cut, your effects are, are effects, of course, but they're also called filters. So remember that when you apply an effect, say like any of these, It'll be right in the filters area, and anything that you put in, uh, don't, you just uh, drag it on in here. Just drag your uh, effect in here. Like I'll show you how that works. First, okay, I'm going to show you uh, the div lo logo first before I do anything else that pops up when you download the div codec for your AVI files to work. I don't, I don't know if it'll show up on this video. It doesn't seem like it is. Right now. Going to show up on this video. It, it shows up at certain points. I'm going to have to uh, get a, a maybe uh, another clip. I know I got the movie twice, so I have to get the third movie again. Okay, I put the first movie in there twice. The Div logo is not showing up for some reason. Anyway, I don't. I don't, I don't know why it's not showing up, but that's good. If the div logo does not show up, your videos are good and you don't have to convert your video file. If the div logo is not showing up, you don't have to convert it into like MOV, which is what Mac really likes to use. But if you got that div logo showing up, you might want to uh, either cover it up, or we just call it div X. You look for that uh, codec div X, and I'll put it in the description to help you guys out so that you know how to use this. Uh, a little bit and I'm going to drag uh, my video clip okay this is the first okay I'm going to uh, okay see that I have the okay that's the second movie okay I'm going to go with the first movie okay find where I'm just going to oh the div uh, there's the div uh, video logo div x that's the codec that allows you to do AVI files you're going to have to uh, either if you're like doing a fan video or whatever you're gonna uh, you're gonna have to either cover that up with your username that that you put your username watermark and try to cover it up, which I'm gonna show you that right now because this happens. Or the other option to get rid of that div logo, you're gonna have to convert it into another format. And this is what you do to convert it: you uh, open up uh, this uh, little program. I'll put it in the description so I so it can help you out. And you drag your uh, whatever you're working with. AVI, whatever file that's not a friendly for Mac, you just uh, drag that right in there into this uh, program. Or if you have uh, QuickTime, the QuickTime Pro, if you have that version, you could also export with that. And if you know how to do that, you just go right in here to go to File, Export up there in your QuickTime, same as right in here. And there's different options and stuff to do that. And I would show you how to do that, but uh, I'll do that in another video. I'm going to probably make this video into parts, so right now I'm going to uh, go right back into uh, this clip right here and show you that uh, uh, how you can get uh, block that watermark. Because sometimes you just don't want to uh, convert your video file because it takes some time, if, especially if you're doing like movies, like if you're doing a fan video to like movies or TV shows, it could take like a long time to export them and if you have like a TV show, it'll take even longer and you just have too many files on your computer and it'll take too much room. So this is what I would do if I don't feel like converting them. Only I would only, probably what I do to com if I would convert them is if I just doing a video to like one movie, fan video to just one movie. So I'm going to go to import right now to get my I created this uh my logo for my uh, other account, my uh watermark. I'm going to go to my book and I'm going to go to where, where I have it is in pictures this folder, my watermark I created this. I created it in Photoshop to make it uh, a lot easier because it, uh, uh, so that you don't have to uh, uh, type in your, your, your uh, like special text watermark at the bottom. I'll show you how to do that too. There it is, there's my watermark I created. Okay, my, this is my magic slider watermark on my other account. Okay, and this is what you do is, okay, now that you want got what you need to get you started and and you don't feel like uh, getting rid of the uh, DivX codec uh, logo, the video logo, and you don't feel like converting because sometimes it takes a while, like I said before, earlier on, and what you're going to do is you're going to select where you want your clip, and I'd say, uh, or whatever you want to work with first, 
this is the beginning point and it ends uh, it'll end all the way at the end if you want to grab that but you're going to pick the uh, other one right in here this that one these two this one's for the end point marked in and this is for the mark out and you're going to after you do that it'll grab that exact uh, thing and you drag it right in here see right there okay and two just like in Sony Vegas there's I'm going to show you these features right now I'm going to have to uh, stop the video and go to my part two of this video so this is the end of part one and that's it for now in this part